Wine of the Neelute Pala Cup. Hey, you potty mouth! What's your problem? The way you don't on your fungi. It's pathetic. <laughs> what a joke. You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Trains my fungi non-stop! Maybe I should have been harder on them! <sighs> well, we beat him. But somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Traveler. Paimon, I made it through. That's amazing, Leila! You reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah... Somehow, beast tamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like, based on a vague impression, and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies. They could have been friends. Mm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me. That's all. 
looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi! Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head? Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You snuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... <clears throat> um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side! Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania! But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves! Eh, whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose! already, and they know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win? It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that! Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her! Let's go see how she's doing! Huh? It's over 
already? Then why is the atmosphere so heavy? Uh, does this mean Mika won? Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro One, but she Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something. Let's catch up with Ania and set things straight. You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Ania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again... I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well, what are you waiting for, little one? Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet.
how'd you find me here? We followed Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet, we'll be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. Fox Lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here, read this. Uh, what is it? These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi posed to us. So, that's what happened. Oh, no wonder you're so hostile towards fungi. Anyway, doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together! It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a Wisdom Orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Wait! Layla's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the Wisdom Orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Cautilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. It's time to say goodbye to the past. didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Henia in the final match! Didn't Henia mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look. Like, 
research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew, this section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Wait, some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes. A capturing device? And a withering potion? Down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi. Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Kautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and why is Kautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Kautilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Oh, don't worry, Bongo Head. Paimon knows you're not going to turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the wisdom orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh, wow! You're getting smarter! Huh? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice.
control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along. Like Bongo Head here. Oh, Hania did make one good point, though. The wisdom orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. Paimon was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Yeah, it's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Cautilia to the Academia? True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then, we should get Elhinga to help us expose Kautilia for the fraud he is! Ladies and gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all, Honia or the Traveler. If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. Huh. Kautilia isn't here today. Oh, this is our chance. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off Elhingen and confront Kautilia head on! Nico, Layla, you're here! Much as I expected. The insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. Holding off on reporting Cautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Cautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be? Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast tamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania, though? The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. I believe in you guys. I know you'll be able to get her to come around. Ah, oh, 
Ah, uh, yeah! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, and Pizarra! The tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! With your powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churro! The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! One, why did you hold back? Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko and now us had you. So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters too. 
The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if you just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Enough! Don't patronize me! In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet! Just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro One along for the ultimate trial? Pyro One? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro One. We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the wisdom orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. I'm sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you. That's right. You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it. I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Alhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Come now. Traveler, Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Oh, Hingen, the arena's been taken over by bad guys. We'll deal with them. Get yourself to safety! Wait a second, where is the exit?
The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltoya is supposed to be the villain. He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm, not far off. You're right about Kautilia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So... You weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Bugle get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly whirly! Blitzara! Pyro Wang! What's going on? Kautilia added a handy little back door in the Wisdom Orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. So, this whole tournament... It was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! Very impressive! <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi. Tried once this domain sealed off. No one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of- You! Selfish, double-crashing monster! How could you? Bimons are just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this! But what are we gonna do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore! Take your time! Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors! 
I want the Traveler to see her buddy being destroyed. Then, once her faith is utterly shattered, put her out of her misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the Traveler? Is Cautilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Yai, Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please! You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Leila, and Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here! Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! Blitzara's back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this crook down. <laughs> the backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi. We still have the upper hand. Oh. 
Easily fungi? <laughs> this is absurd. Miko, why didn't you stab him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, oh, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. We'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone, but with you here, I can put my mind at ease. You might think this is over, but mark my words! You haven't seen the last of me! Oh, Master Dottore! Loser! Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Wait! Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so... Is that where Miko was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. 
I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Uh, the more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. Huh? We didn't get to say anything! <laughs> if by that you mean, thank you, Mika. You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know but now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well- Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro 1, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. Wait, actually, having said that, Paimon has an idea! Alright, Paimon's got it. Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with. Paimon's first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this. Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies. 